Joining us now is journalist and editor Dr. Candice Bailey to give us more on um, this story. Thank you very much for joining us. That was quite a display we just watched on live television. Help us understand the nature of the EFF's unhappiness with President Cyril Ramaphosa addressing the House. Good evening, Felicity. Indeed, it was quite a, a, a display in, in Parliament this afternoon. What we saw is the EFF really protesting against the President wanting to address um, the, the House around the, the President's budget vote. And essentially at the center of their claims is that the President was not um, allowed to address the House because of these allegations of money laundering against him. Now, last week, towards the end of last week, the former State Security Agency um, spy boss, um, Arthur Fraser, laid a charge with police saying that um, Mr. Ramaphosa had um, a sum of about four million US dollars that had disappeared from his farm in 2020 and um, he had not reported it to police and then he had a, a cover-up campaign around that. And he then open these charges and these charges are now being investigated. Now, uh, the, the big challenge around this is that in 2020, Sol Ramaphosa in the ANC instituted what we call a step aside rule. And that means that any MP, any member of parliament, any minister who is facing charges needs to step out of their role until they are cleared of those charges. What the EFF are now calling for is that because these there are charges or uh, charges against Sol Ramaphosa, he needs to step aside until those charges charges are clear. Yeah, and, and I was actually going to ask if it was, are they just acting based on allegation? I mean, he has not been proven guilty, but you just cleared that by saying there is um, a law to that effect. Uh, this is not the first time that EFF members have prevented from opposing from addressing the House. Is it effective or has it been effective? There's a there's a, a level to which it is effective, Felicity. To the uh, it started off in 2015, just after the EFF had been uh, voted into Parliament. Um, what we saw was them um, protesting against Sal Ramaphosa addressing the House after the Marikana charges, and this is when uh, we saw 34 miners being gunned down. He was a uh, um, he was a director of Lonman at the time, and they then also protested in Parliament, saying that he was not allowed to address the House because he was a murderer. What that did at the time was that it brought the issue, it got the issue national attention. And I think in the same way, them, them having an outrage in Parliament today and the display that they had in Parliament today is effective because it has created national attention around the issue. Obviously, the way in which they've done it contravened Parliament rules, I and mean, there's different, a different issue at hand. But I do think that there is a level of effectiveness because they're able to, to bring the issue to national attention. Uh, do you expect to see um, some reaction within Parliament as a result of the behaviour of some of the lawmakers? Well, uh, President Shola Maposa really uh, was subjected to questions around, particularly around this farm and the, and the theft of this money. Um, we saw, aside from the, the EFF coming out and saying that, you know, they, they didn't want him addressing um, the National Assembly, and that display took about an hour. After that, once we then had um, the president do the budget vote, we saw MPs then ask him about the farmer, the farm, the money disappearing from the farm and saying, you know, they do want the answers. Earlier this week, it was not only the EFF that had called him to step aside. And this was not a law, it's an ANC regulation, so it's a different um, set of um, it's a different set of protocols altogether. But what we are seeing is that there are other political parties who are calling for him to account in some way for this money, for this huge sums of money. Obviously, the president has denied that it's four billion four million US dollars. He said that it's quite a, a lot less and that it's proceeds from his game farm where he sells cattle. Um, but there is a call for him to account and for him to um, to provide some form of transparency around his activities and around the money that was at his house in Wintermersey. Uh, you mentioned the uh, drama, the, what this is uh, causing um, uh, to the government and the people, basically. What has been the reaction of ordinary South Africans to the fiasco? I think what we saw on Twitter this afternoon was that uh, the fiasco really did capture the hearts and minds of people on Twitter this afternoon. Um, uh, President Shul, there was in fact, there was a hashtag, Ramaphosa must go, which was trending on Twitter this afternoon. And I think it was largely uh, pushed by the EFF, uh, but there were ordinary people saying, you know, 
what was happening around Sol Ramaphosa, around the farm, around the money disappearing, does need answers and, and calling for him to account and calling for him to step down. So I think um, the EFF have, have achieved their goal to create discussion around the President Sol Ramaphosa's actions and the money that was that has disappeared from his farm. So certainly there is some um, questions that are coming from the public at this stage. Uh, do you see a possibility of him stepping down and what could be the likely impl implication for the economy of South Africa and the governance in that country, really? At the moment, uh, the likelihood of President Sir Ramaphosa stepping down is, is, is quite low, uh, Felicity. Uh, what the ANC have said is that according to their rule, the step aside rule that they've implemented, is that it's only MP ministers who are actually facing charges in a court of law that, that should step aside. Um, and, and that is not happening at the moment. He's only been implicated in these allegations. Um, they are they in being investigated. And there isn't actually actual charge that's been, that's been put to him. So I think once, they, if there is a charge that is put to him, he would certainly step aside until the, those, um, those um, charges are cleared. But at this stage, there is no charge against him. So I think we will yet to see what happens over the next few days. I mean, the president has also indicated that there is a, uh, a battle between and members of the state security agency who are being subjected to some form of investigation who are now kicking back using these allegations to try and and get him off off, off his uh, position all right thank you very much dr bailey for speaking with us thanks Mr.